We are going to look at nine quick ways that Google Analytics can help us to track the Google search engine mobile friendly update. First, we'll look at four features in Google Analytics that will help us focus on our Google mobile organic traffic. Those features will be secondary dimensions, advanced table filters, the plot rows feature, and also the shortcut that we will create after we've configured our report. Let's start in the all traffic report. We are in acquisition, all traffic, source medium. We can see that Google organic is the top referring source medium. At this point, we don't know the breakdown among different types of devices. We can determine that quickly by adding a secondary dimension. Secondary dimension, device category, so now we can see the breakdown between desktop, mobile, and tablet devices relative to the different source medium values. Let's go ahead and focus this report a little bit further. We need an advanced filter to apply a filter to the secondary dimension. So we'll go ahead and click advanced, device category, exactly matching, read ahead for mobile, and there we have our Google organic traffic coming from mobile devices. If we want to display this one row value in our main overtime graph, we can select that row and click plot rows. And I'm going to go ahead and collapse the left navigation for now just to give us a little more room. To chart a different metric, such as goal completions, we could go ahead and select a different metric to display in the main overtime graph. So we will select goal one completions as our metric to plot. And there we have goal one completions for Google organic mobile compared to all traffic sources listed in the report. If we want to save this report configuration for quick reference in the future, all we have to do is scroll up, click shortcut. Let's call this shortcut Google organic mobile. And now this report will always be accessible to us as we configured it right from the shortcuts menu. Let's try to achieve a similar effect through another approach. This time we will create a custom report. We are also going to configure an automated email of the custom report and we are going to add the custom report to a dashboard. To create a custom report we can click customize at the top of a standard report or we can click the customization tab in the top navigation. New custom report. We'll call the custom report Google Organic Mobile, just like our shortcut. Report tab, main. Metric group, summary. We're going to add three metrics. Sessions, bounce rate, goal one completions. We could add e-commerce revenue as well. So here we are not just tracking the number of sessions for Google Organic Mobile, we are also tracking the quality of that traffic. Dimension, source medium, filters, two filters. First, source medium, Google Organic, device category, mobile, save. So now we have our custom report and it looks like we're actually doing pretty well in terms of sessions. You know what? I bet Ferris would like to get a copy of this report every week. Email to ferris at e-nor.com. Attachments, let's send it as a PDF. Frequency weekly, let's say Tuesday. Please see attached. And when we click send, we will have actually configured the weekly email of this custom report to Ferris. We could have done the same thing with a standard report. Let's also add this custom report to a dashboard. Add to dashboard, main dashboard, table. And now we have a widget for the custom report on the dashboard and we can link back to the custom report from there. Now let's look at the custom segment feature. Let's go ahead and create a custom segment for Google mobile organic traffic. At the top of any report, click add segment, new segment. Let's call our segment Google organic mobile. 
Let's go right to conditions, source medium, exactly matches, Google organic, and device category, exactly matches, mobile. Go ahead and save. And now this segment will be available for any report that we go to. So for instance, if we go to the behavior, site content, all pages report, the Google organic mobile segment is still applied. Now we are going to look at a technique that's similar to a custom segment, but instead we are going to create a hard filtered view. And once we've created that view, we are going to create a custom intelligence alert. To create a dedicated view for Google mobile organic traffic, we are going to start in the admin screen and under the view dropdown, we are going to select create new view, call the view Google organic mobile, create view, and we'll quickly apply three filters to our view. Now to create a view, you need to have edit access at the property level and to apply a filter to a view, you have to have edit access at the view level. New filter. We would apply three new filters. The first filter, organic, custom, filter field, medium. We're going to select campaign medium. In this case, filter pattern, organic. The next filter that we would create, we would call Google, filter field, source, campaign source, Google. And the next filter we would apply would be mobile. Filter field, mobile, yes. So we would actually create and apply three separate filters to this view to achieve the settings that we wanted. Unlike the segment that we created in the previous sequence, the data in this view would be collected only on a go forward basis, but the advantage would be that anything that you or anyone else saw in this view would reflect those three filters that we did apply, Google Organic Mobile. So let's click reporting in the top navigation. We're going to click intelligence alerts, overview, custom alerts, manage custom alerts, new alert, alert name, Google Organic Mobile Decrease 10% Period Week This applies to all traffic. Now, since we are working in our view that is filtered for Google Organic Mobile, all traffic would refer only to the segment of traffic after the filters have been applied. We have a hard-coded segment in our view. Alert me when sessions percent decreases by more than 10%. So now we could go ahead and save this alert. And we almost forgot the most important part. Send me an email when this alert triggers. We could also send an email to other people and we could send a text message as well. So now on a week by week basis, or if you wanted to on a day by day basis, monthly potentially, you could proactively receive an alert when there is a 10% decrease in your Google organic mobile traffic. Obviously the thresholds that you set are up to you. You could set an equivalent alert for an increase in traffic and you could monitor other metrics as well for sure. Intelligence alerts are a very, very useful and underused feature within Google Analytics. Now, let's check out a couple of resources outside of Google Analytics. We'll start with Google Webmaster Tools. For any site that you manage Google Analytics for, it's also useful to have access to Google Webmaster Tools. So if you are not already validated for Google Webmaster Tools, it's a good idea to go ahead and get validated for Google Webmaster Tools, and you will have access to a variety of very useful reports among them, the mobile usability report, which will tell you very clearly the mobile problems that the Google search bot is experiencing on your site. One more utility for us to check out. And finally, you can check out any page using the Google mobile friendly test tool. Let's go ahead and check out the Enor homepage. Analyze. Great. 
our homepage is mobile friendly. So make sure to come and check us out on mobile or tablet or desktop and find out more about our training and consulting and Google Analytics premium support. Thank you for watching.